Hello everyone and welcome to another Kerbal Space Program video career mode 10% science mode 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 mode. Now this was actually going to be a Project Zomboid video but I sort of needed to hit this when the iron was hot. In my last video I was using a type of rocket jet uh, kind of aircraft combination in order to get the, the science mission that made you have to gather the science at a certain altitude, usually an altitude that's really high, especially for the Juno jet engine. You know, Juno jet engine, the Juno jet engine dies at about 18300, so it would, wouldn't would be, you know, normally you wouldn't pick that certain engine in order to take your craft way up there in order to get that science, because even though it dies at 18,300 meters, technically speaking, by the time you get there, you're pumping out like point five thrust which is why i designed the rocket slash jet engine combo vehicle now being that the vehicle was very heavy i would have to use drop tanks because i'd burn up a lot of fuel flying in low altitude because it's not like the science was right next door the science was literally almost halfway across the planet now it worked even though it was horribly fuel inefficient it still worked how Ever. When I was reading the comments, and I read all the comments, even when streams, even in my streams, I, I watched the whole stream and I read the comments. I was told that I should have used a type of U2 uh, craft configuration or design. Now, I'm a man of my word, so if they end up putting a video out there and showing their design of, of like a U2 design using the current technology and the current limitations of the runway and the space plane hangar, then yeah, I'd be more than happy to find their video and uh, record it so that I could show it to everybody. Now, mind you, I'm not going to record the entire video because I'd rather people go to their channel and look at it for themselves, giving some you know much needed YouTube traffic but still I will still do that all they need to do is let me know when the video comes out and link me it but yeah after I read the comment and wrote the wrote the comment wait read the comment wrote, wrote, wrote the response wrote the blah, 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 blah. it got me thinking could I possibly build a U2 in this career mode this extremely low-tech career mode all we have is the Juno engine and like I said it dies at 1800 you know 300 18,300 meters high and when it dies out it's barely putting enough thrust to kick a hamster across the room don't ever do that is it possible to build a very 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 high altitude craft so that if I ever make the mistake again of getting these type of missions I can circumnavigate that with just flying there instead of using a rocket so at first I wasn't going to record this because I just wanted to test it you know just play with it a little bit and see if it worked that's what she said. And lo and behold, I actually got up to almost 15,000 meters with my first design. I was going for the light, most super lightweight design I could think of. But I quickly realized that that wasn't going to be enough. Not enough thrust. Not enough lift. I tried using all of the lightest parts that were available in this career mode in order to build this plane. What the fuck you do? So my second design, I just, well, heh. <laughs> added more thrust and bigger wings but not big as in wide but more like long you know you too long what the hell <laughs> you too long no you too short so i gave that a test but i found out that the tail section of this new design wasn't working and i almost lost jebediah Oh, man. When he ejected, his parachute, I guess, ripped over the darn plane, so he was parachuteless. I put his helmet on and just prayed for dear love, please. And thankfully, he survived. So while the tail section might have worked for the first design because of the fact that it was lighter with less whatever, this tail design was not going to work for this larger wingspan with more engines design. So I had to build a new tail. So with the new tail, it was way more stable now. It had double the engines, bigger wings. So I was like, this, this might, this might work. And amazingly, we almost reached 17,000 meters. It was more like 16,600 or 500 or something like that. But uh, we almost got, you know, we, we got, it was impressive numbers. Okay. But we simply did not have enough thrust and we kind of we were kind of dying there and it just kind of fell off and she started falling out of the sky
So what do you do when you run out of thrust, class? More, well in this case jets, not boosters, but you get the die, you get the idea. So now I double doubled the jet for a grand whopping total of eight Juno engines. I added a little bit more wings on the tips too, because uh, unfortunately there is a limit to how big you can make your planes in the tier two space plane hangar. Now this one, this one got real close. We're talking like 17,500 meters high. It was like so close to 18. I was like, wow, no way. Is this, am I gonna actually be able to do this? So what did I end up doing in order to make sure I could at least hit 18,000 or at least what I thought maybe I needed to do? It looked like that it was just it was just shy of the thrust. Once the thrust started dropping at 1.5.9 Kelvin per engine, it just it it didn't have enough oomph to go any higher regardless of how many wings I had. Because I think at that point the atmosphere is so thin that even though I'm getting really big spikes of blueness on my wings it's just not enough and while yes I could probably go ahead and make this thing a biplane and you know stack on the wings for more lift that just means I have more drag which also means that I have more weight which also means I'd have to add more engines y you see what you see where the pattern is where, where the pattern would be going at this point more weight more engines more weight more engines more weight more engines more wings more wings more wings I had to find a good balance there had to be one especially with this low-tech little tiny little jet engine there's there just had to be one. So this 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 version of the high altitude plane would have a grand total whopping 16 engines. In order to save on fuel, I just gave each one of the engines its own fuel tank. I didn't double up the fuel tank or anything like that. So that definitely saved on weight, but I wanted to if it's going to have its maiden flight and we've already tested the other versions behind it and we know that it's very possible that this could actually be a thing, I wanted to give it a paint job, make it look good. If it's going to go on its maiden flight, I wanted it to look good. I comp contemplated on making it maybe like a silverish look like metal metallic because I know in the real world paint does add weight to the craft and if they wanted to make this as light as possible they wouldn't add any paint but I also liked that orange color look on the uh, America's first uh, aircraft that broke the sound barrier so I went more for that kind of detail if you're wondering why there is a freaking air intake on the front of the cockpit or command pod that's simply because of the fact we have not unlocked the little tiny nose cone yet so the air intake actually helps reduce drag it's better than having nothing there at all my only regret with the plane was that i forgot to put decals under the wings whoops but i'll tell you what this plane right here would surprise me
So not only did we surpass 18,000 meters, but we actually start going above and beyond the operational altitude of the Juno engine. Air quotations, because of the simple fact that, yeah, it was like, okay, um, we're, we're above the altitude of these engines, but they're kind of still working. Of course, I'm just imagining Jebediah, like, you know, <laughs> in the new Top Gun movie where he's like, just a little... Oh, don't do it, don't do it, just... Further. And the Kerbal down at Mission Control is like, oh no. However, this thing would, like I said, it, it, it would surprise me because on the way back to the KSC, we ended up breaking 19,000 meters. Let's go. Anyway, everybody, thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like, and if you loved it, consider subscribing. We also have a membership program. If you become a member, you get cool little emojis and badges and stuff next to your name. Pretty cool. Check it out. And, of course, that bell notification. I also want to thank this awesome YouTuber right here for giving me the idea to go ahead and challenge myself. And like I said before, my offer still stands. I'm a man of my word. If they build a high-altitude craft and put a, put a video out, I'll more than be happy to to check out their stuff and have it in a video if they want to take some some ideas that i have in the video go ahead i i'm not all about that whole oh, you copied me you copied me we're supposed to work together aviation science and rocketry and space and everything else if someone has a great idea and it gives you a better idea then gosh darn it do it even if they look similar they're not the same you know what i mean do you know what i mean now, if it's a straight up copy, yeah, then I'll say something, but I'm, I'm pretty sure they'll come up with something that's original based on their own design, even if they do take inspiration from this aircraft. But anyway, I gotta go. Thank you so much again for being here. Love you all. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye. What are you guys still doing here? Th the video's over. Go. Go to bed. Go to sleep. Eat something. Run around the block a few times. Fix your car. Fix your hair. Fix something. I don't know. Go.